G'day YouTube, welcome back to another video. Uh, Merry Christmas, I hope everybody's having a safe and enjoyable holiday season. Um, today's video, I wanted to talk about a couple of different things. Uh, first up, I've got to do a repair on this charger. It's really, really old and the fan has, um, for quite a few years now, been making a loud wailing noise. Um, it's kind of intermittent. Uh, I've just sort of been tapping the charger like that uh, and it fixes the problem but it's gotten to the point now where I'd like to tear it all apart uh, and replace that cooling fan. Also um, we've got a couple new additions to the RC car fleet um, that are, have arrived for Christmas. You can probably guess uh, what sort of vehicle by looking at this battery and charger combination. Um, this has got the Traxxas, uh, the new Traxxas connector on it, which is just for the T TRX4M, as far as I can establish. Um, I don't want to mess with the connector on the battery end. I want to leave that as is, but the only charging option that I have for that battery is the standard charger, which works fine, but my issue um, with only having that is if you charge the battery up and use the truck and then want to be able to put the battery on a storage charge, um, you don't really have too many options. So what I wanted to do was come up with an adapter so that I can plug the battery into this stock cord and then I'll cut this along here somewhere and make an adapter so that I can charge it on this charger um, to achieve a storage charge or use it on this one as well. So I won't be modifying the battery or the truck's electronics. The only thing that I'll be messing with um, is this charging, is the battery charger and its cable. Um, we got a new SCX24 uh, deadbolt for my four-year-old. And these connectors are really, really difficult uh, to unplug when it's after it's been used and you want to disconnect it from the uh, speed control receiver combination unit I find these really difficult to disconnect it feels like I'm going to tear the wires out every time so the habit that I've been getting into is cutting these off in the middle and just making up a little JST adapter uh, so we'll knock that out as well while we've got the soldering iron out uh, but first off I'm going to tear this apart, have a look inside and see what's going to be involved with getting that fan installed. Well that all came apart pretty easily. We've got the old fan removed, uh, the new one screwed in, the wiring had to be fished underneath the circuit board so I didn't have to disassemble it any further. Um, the connector on the new fan was not the same so I've just cut off the original fan connector and I'll get that soldered onto those wires there. Um, we'll get this charger all back together and then we'll take a look at what we're going to do with this um, Traxxas charger to allow us to put this battery on a storage charge when we're done using it. So we've got the charger all back together with the new fan installed so now we can just concentrate on how we're going to get this Traxxas battery with the TRX4M connector, how are we going to get it connected to this charger so that we can use the uh, balancing features and the storage mode features that you can't achieve with the factory supplied Traxxas charger. So essentially the Traxxas battery is the balance lead and the discharge lead is just shared instead of a more traditional LiPo where it has a separate discharge and separate balance we just pretend that the discharge leads not there on that battery 
and that's basically what you've got standard colors for the balance lead you've got positive and negative which is the total voltage of the pack and the center blue wire is the tap that leads into the second battery so that the balancer can charge the two different cells individually and on here you can see we've got positive and negative just the same and the central wire on the Traxxas battery is the balance port so I'm going to cut this connector off the charger and make up an adapter so that I can use this battery with this charger or we will also retain um, function of this charger as well because these are handy they don't take up a lot of room and it seems to do a good job of charging the battery so I want to be able to use both with this battery without messing with the battery itself or messing with the electronics in the truck so we have our adapter soldered up for the TRX4M connector and then it breaks out into an old balance plug connector that I removed from a damaged battery and a JST which is what I prefer to use um, to charge all my mini RC car batteries I have a JST connector on the charger so the way you want to set it up to use is connect the Traxxas battery to that first then you want to go ahead and get your charge lead connected and then you can go ahead and plug the balance connector in let's just checking to see the voltage how many cells two cells that is correct and there we can see the balancer is reading two cells so that's correct and it's beginning to charge the battery so I probably won't this charger doesn't do really well with the mini batteries it doesn't even though I'm telling it at the moment to charge at 0.8 of an amp um, or 800 milliamps it's a little bit slow to charge it seems to be pretty cautious with the mini batteries and doesn't really charge at a, a high rate and it takes a long time to charge so I'll probably be charging this battery with the supplied Traxxas connector uh, sorry supplied Traxxas charger uh, and then just using this charger I've got um, just to balance the battery and to charge it to a storage charge um, because if you leave these batteries fully charged uh, the internal resistance goes really high and then the battery just puffs and it's all over so I prefer to be able to put them on a storage charge uh, when I'm done using them each time and there we have the Traxxas charger all wired up with our adapter on there so the adapter comes off like that it can be used with the other charger and this end just has I can't remember where I got this from I've had it in my toolbox for a long time I think it was a part of a like a balance plug connector um, or an, an adapter for a balance plug something like that I'm not a hundred percent sure but I'm I think you'd be able to find something like that online uh, eBay is usually pretty good for that kind of stuff so we'll get our charger plugged in we'll get our adapter plugged in and then we'll go ahead and put the Traxxas ID battery on there and you can see that we are charging normally so We haven't uh, affected the warranty of the battery itself or the electronics in the truck 
the only thing we've really messed with is the cord of the actual charger there. Uh, and if you needed to get a hold of another charger for whatever reason, that would be easy enough. Um, but I just like having the ability to correctly balance and storage charge um, any LiPo battery. I think that you get a lot more lifespan out of them um, rather than storing them at an undetermined uh, state of charge. So that's working well. You can see no error codes or anything. It's just charging as normal. So we've added some charge to the battery with the stock Traxxas charger and now I just want to do a quick test um, and make sure that the storage mode and everything works correctly on this charger. So it's just going to ask me to confirm storage mode, yes. Two cells is correct. And then we'll start to see a negative value there. This charge is only capable of pulling about 350 milliamp amps out. Um, so for these smaller batteries, it works well. But if obviously if you've got a um, large capacity battery, it's pretty slow going discharging it. Uh, but for these, I already had this charger and I don't really want to buy a new charger. I'd like to that fan's kicking on there, which is good. It means that our repairs to the fan are working properly. Yeah, I don't like getting rid of things. If it can be repaired and just have a fan replaced and continue to go back into service, um, that's much preferred for me. So that looks like it's working well. You can see a pair of values there for cell 1 and cell 2. Um, so it looks as though that little workaround for the Traxxas charger was successful. We've done a quick modification to our SEX24 battery. Uh, this component ends up serving as an adapter and lives permanently connected to the truck. And then when you want to remove the battery for charging and storage, you can just disconnect it at that JST connect connector, which I find um, to work a lot better than trying to yank this little guy. You can't really, it fits down in flush into the speed control and you can't really grab it by the plug. You end up having to pull it out by the wires and it just feels like something's going to break and wear out over time. So that's what I've done with our other two SCX24s um, and it's been working out great. So. I just do that. I know you can buy adapters for these things, but um, I had the soldering iron out and I keep these JST male and female in stock, so I figured I would just do that. It's quick and easy. That's where we're going to wrap things up for today. Uh, not a particularly exciting video, but just a quick one uh, to show you the little adapter harness that I made up so that the TRX4M battery can be uh, charged and placed in a storage condition with a charger other than the factory supplied ID charger um, whilst still maintaining the use of this charger because they are handy and they tend to charge the battery up fairly quickly as well. Um, a little bit too cold outside to do some testing with the new TRX4M uh, so we'll cover that in an upcoming video. If you have any questions or comments uh, regarding the modifications performed to the Traxxas ID charger for the TRX4M leave them in the comments section below. Uh, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.